Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a posterior subcapsular cataract with very soft nucleus. These patients usually come with complaints of blurred vision in bright light. In dim light conditions, they see quite well. Let us observe this surgery. The main incision has been done and now visco is used to fill up the anterior chamber. This is 2% HPMC. And now, this is a small sideboard on the left side of the main incision and another small sideboard on the right, right side of the main incision. In this case, I have planned to use bimanual irrigation aspiration so I have made two side ports and each side port is of about 1.2 millimeter in width. Now visco is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility to facilitate in doing capsulorexis. And here I go with the rexis forceps, tear the anterior capsule, raise a tag and guide this tag in such a way that I get a fairly round rexis of about 5.0 millimeter in diameter. And this is a very satisfactory rexis. Now hydrodissection. Before I inject fluid, express out some visco and then inject BSS. Hydrodissection and hydrodineal both are done and now the nucleus is just tapped. I didn't rotate the nucleus in this case. Some more visco and now I go in with the FECO handpiece. The machine being used is Oatly Catarix 3. And here I go bevel down. My plan is to eat up the nucleus just hold it and eat it off here it is it tilts and I start emulsifying the nucleus from above and in no time the nucleus gets vanished so this is a soft nucleus in such cases we can manage in this way. There is a big thick cushion of epinucleus which protects the posterior capsule. And now I am going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for cortical cleanup. And before I go through the side ports, I go through the main incision with the irrigating probe and do some more hydration of the cortex all around so that when I use vacuum they come easily. So this has been a very nice hydration. Now I go in and here it is. The cortex is coming so easily. I don't have to pull the cortex. It is just coming to the tip and without changing hands I could remove all the cortex. So cortical cleanup is done. This is a little bit of hydro polish and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. And the intraocular lens that I have selected in this case is my favorite lens. This is Technis One from Janssen and Janssen. Beautiful lens, no financial interest, but there is no glistening over the ears. I am going to use big batteries, so I enlarge the main wound by 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 millimeter. The main wound becomes about 3 millimeter now. Now here goes the intraocular lens. This Technis 1 and Sensor 1 intraocular lenses are thick and it is wiser to use a B cartridge. C 
see cartridges will cause too much compression of these intraocular lenses. And the lens is now in the capsular bag. The haptics are nicely placed at the equator of the capsular bag. And there is no visco. The intraocular lens has been implanted, keeping the AC formed by BSS through the irrigating probe. This is closure of the side ports, hydrating corneal stroma with BSS using a 27 gauze cannula. Always hydrate the scleral side of the wound to prevent DMD, decimates membrane detachment. And now, this is a final lavage of the anterior chamber. Any visco sticking to the corneal endothelium is removed at this time. The antechamber is formed nicely with this instrument. This is a 23G Simco and all the wounds are checked using a cotton tipped Johnson Bart. There is no leakage from any wound. Few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.